Hi, I'm Kalle Roselli, product manager for EFLA Connectivity Products. We are here in Finland at EFLA factory and today we are going to take a look how to assemble our new KDL1 primary connector kit. Needed tools for assembly. Cable cutters, pliers, size 6 crimping tool, knife, flat end screwdriver, 29 mm spanner and marker pen. The KDL1 connector kit is delivered in plastic bag and it looks like this. The kit contains instructions, housings, pins, copper tape, EFLA lock, guiding pin, measurement tool and a paper towel. On the instructions you can find information for safety and cable sizing. Recommended crimping tools, instructions for peeling, crimping and assembly. Also note the measurement tool. Connector assembly starts by preparing the cable. Correct peeling is very important for connector water tightness, so take your time. First mark the cable. You can use the measurement tool printed on the manual. The cable is peeled to three segments. First peel 16 mm so that the core is visible. Then peel off 30 mm cable screen. Pay attention to semiconductive layer, it needs to be removed also. Finally remove 16 mm of outer insulation. Be careful not to damage the screen. Make sure that the peeling is done correctly by the millimeter. Install copper tape over the screen. Crimp metal receptacle to the cable. Use size 6 crimping tool. Crimping is done in two places. Make sure to turn the cable 90 degrees between the crimps. Put the guiding pin into the metal receptacle. Place the measurement tool into the receptacle housing, remove the protection cap. Slide the cable into the housing. Use your thumb to stop the cable in correct place. Do not pull the cable backwards after installation. Remove the measurement tool and the guiding pin. Wipe the connector surface clean from any silicon leftovers. Another purpose for using guiding pin is to prevent silicon getting into the receptacle metal part. Tighten the cable gland first by hand and then by 29 mm spanner as tight as you can. If you have a torque key then tighten to 8 Nm. The connector is installed normally to a transformer. Secure the connection uh, with EFLA lock. With EFLA lock, the connection can tolerate 25 kg pulling force before opening. Screen connection is done with the wire. Peel the wire about 3 cm. Loose the screw on connection point. Push the wire through. Then turn the peeled part about 180 degrees and pull back.
and Thailander screw. Assembly of a male connector is done same way as the receptacle. Start by peeling the cable and remember the importance of accurate peeling. Mark the cable in correct places. Peel 16 mm so that the cable core is visible. Then peel off 30 mm cable screen. Pay attention to semiconductive layer. Finally, remove 16 mm outer insulation. Remember not to damage the screen. Check the correct peeling. Install the copper tape. Crimp the cable in two places. Remember to turn the cable 90 degrees between the crimps. Install the plug housing. Remove the protection cap. Slide the cable into the connector. Use the measurement tool and your thumb to stop the cable in the correct place. Clean the connector from extra silicon. Tighten the cable clamp first by hand and then by 29 mm spanner as tight as you can. If you have a torque key, then tighten to 8 Nm. Connect the connector to the transformer and secure with a lock. Connect the screen by attaching wire to the screen terminal. Peel the wire about 3 cm. Loosen the screw on the terminal. Push the wire through. Turn the peeled part about 180 degrees and then pull wire back. And tighten the screw. That's it. Now you are all done. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful to you. Bye.